Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. My name is Jillian, and today I will be sharing with you guys a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. I asked you guys in a previous vlog if you guys would like me to start doing my Christmas DIYs in November or starting in December, and everybody said November, so I'm going to start rolling out all of my many Christmas DIYs that I do have planned. This one, like I said, is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY. I will be making a pillow from Dollar Tree. It was so simple and easy to make. It only cost me $4 to make because I did have all the other supplies on hand. So let's just jump right in to my Dollar Tree Christmas pillow DIY. Okay guys, so for this Dollar Tree pillow DIY craft, you are going to need some placemats from the Dollar Tree. Now you're going to need two placemats for each pillow, so it depends on how many pillows you'd like to make, but I chose these snowman ones and also some Santa Claus ones. They also had one more design. I believe it was like a some type of flower. Then you're also going to need some glue sticks and a hot glue gun, and then you're also going to need some stuffing to stuff your pillow you don't have stuffing on hand you could always use an old pillow and just remove that stuffing from the old pillow so the first thing i am going to do is just remove all the tags from the placemats and once i am done removing the tags then i'm just going to flip over the placemats and then i will grab my hot glue gun and start gluing it together i am going to leave one part open so i can be able to stuff the pillows but for this one, I am using some glue that is specifically for fabric. So it is a fabric hot glue gun stick. And I only had a tiny bit left in the glue gun from a previous DIY. So I decided to use that just because it is a little more sturdy than using a regular glue stick. If you guys do not have these fabric glue sticks on hand, they are very affordable at your craft store or a regular glue stick does work as well. Obviously, if you sew your pillowcase together, if you have a sewing machine, that is going to be the best option, but I do not have a sewing machine, so that is why I decided to glue my pillowcase together. But if you want something a little more sturdy, then I would definitely sew it together. You're also gonna see that for some parts of me gluing this pillow together, I am putting a little bit of glue down at a time before putting it together just because if I do add too much glue, then it will dry out before I can get to it. So that is why you see at some parts, I'm adding a little bit of glue at a time. So you are just going to repeat this process until you are completely done. And remember to leave one little section open so you can be able to stuff the stuffings into your pillow. Now I am going to start stuffing the stuffing inside of my pillow. And the great thing about this is that you can add as much or as little as you would like. It just depends on how much stuffing you would like your pillow to be. So I'm just going to add enough stuffing in there until I feel like it looks best. I don't like it to be too stuffed, but I also don't want it to look like it's deflated. So I'm gonna add some stuffing to it before gluing it all together. And now that I am done stuffing my pillow, I am now going to secure the last section that needs to be glued down together. And now I'm going to move on to my second pillow, my snowman pillow. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to remove all the tags from the placemats. And then I'm going to start gluing the placemats together. And you're going to see that halfway through, the glue is going to start turning clear just because I did run out of my fabric glue. I did not have any more on hand. So some parts you're going to see that the glue is clear, but that is fine. It still worked out when I used my clear glue. It was just a little more sturdier with the fabric 
fabric glue, but overall it still stood together. And now, same as before, I'm going to start stuffing my snowman pillow until I feel like it has enough stuffing inside. And now that I am done stuffing my pillow, I am now going to finish gluing my pillow together. Okay guys, so this is the end result of how my Dollar Tree pillows turned out. I think they turned out really cute and these are great gifts to give for friends and family for the holidays or even something to keep for yourself. Now, if you guys want something to be a little more sturdy and secure, I would definitely sew them together. If not, then I would recommend to purchase the fabric glues for your glue sticks and use it that way and it would definitely be secure. These pillows are very secure and does not look like they will go anywhere. The only thing is you cannot put it in the washer because it is used with a hot glue gun. But if you do sew them together, you can definitely toss them in the wash. All right, guys, so that is going to end my easy and simple Dollar Tree DIY on how to make a pillow. Now, this was so easy to make. Now, if you guys do not have already stuffing on hand, then you can always use an old pillow and use the stuffing from that pillow to stuff your pillow. Um, I already had the stuffing on hand and I already had my glue sticks and glue gun on hand, so that is why it only cost me $4 to make. But even if you need to buy the stuffing, it's only like two or three dollars for that huge bag that you guys saw. I bought that from Walmart and I believe it was like $2.99 or $2.89. But like I said, if you don't want to go out and buy stuffing, you can always use an old pillow that you're about to toss out and cut it up and take out all the stuffing from the center and then place it into your new pillow. Also, guys, if you guys want your pillowcase to be a little more stronger and sturdy, then I would suggest sewing it together. I do not own a sewing machine, nor do I know how to sew. So that is why I used a hot glue gun. Also, if you're going to use a hot glue gun, then my suggestion would be to buy the fabric glue just because it is a little bit stronger than your traditional glue sticks. Um, my first pillow, I used the fabric glue. The second pillow, I ran out, so I ended up using... For the other half, I used just a regular glue stick, but either way, it worked out. It was simple and easy to create. I think they turned out super cute. They are really pretty for yourself, for your own home, or even for gifts. I am going to make a few more to give away for gifts and then probably make an extra one for myself to put it on my sofa up in my loft. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed my Christmas DIY from Dollar Tree. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.